We have a leak here on the R22 system and a uh, pipe uh, cracked. You can see right there. Pretty large leak. So this eight pounds R22, which is getting insanely expensive. So I'm gonna show on this video and fixing the leak, which is very simple. Just I'm gonna swap out that piece of pipe right there, swagged in a new one. Could also fix it hitting silver solder directly on the crack, but sometimes it ends up cracking somewhere else. And this has had some rework on it already. So basically I have to almost pull that compressor to change that pipe. So I might as well convert the system over because I can change a good part of the oil. So I'm going to also show in this video how to go from R22 to a 407C, which is the closest match which you can get and uh, to the R22 pressures. And uh, But you have to add something to return the mineral oil because we do have a mineral oil charge in there. And if you just dump in 407C without any R22, it's going to end up logging in the evaporator and the oil which would normally be in the compressor will end up hanging out in the evaporator and then kill capacity and uh, could possibly kill the compressor. So you got to return the oil and I'm seeing people do 20% mixture of the synthetic polyester. Get a 20% mixture synthetic with the mineral or you know best case get a full charge. I'm not going to get a full charge, but I am going to go ahead and just, I'll pull the compressor out, dump the oil, put the new oil in, and then charge it with a much less expensive R407C. And uh, then we'll be good to go. And uh, also it's always good practice, change the filter dryer, which is real easy right there. It's right on the outside because the system's going to be down. Okay, so the compressor is removed. And you see the leaking piece there. Because to repair it, I gotta, you know, pretty much remove it anyway. Just a few extra minutes. Pull the compressor completely out. Now I'm gonna dump the oil completely. So we got 24 ounces of mineral oil. That's what the tag says. Let's pour that out. This is so complicated. Like I said, there's going to be a whole bunch in the system. We're probably going to end up with a 50-50 mix of mineral and synthetic, which is plenty because they'll dilute together and it'll make the mineral soluble with the, with the HFC or refrigerant. And it'll come on back. Yeah, I get a little messy here. You have to be highly trained to do this. It takes years of experience. But if you want to measure it on a scale, how much you took out versus how much you put in, specific gravities are about the same of mineral and synthetic, be my guest. We'll have plenty of oil to run. But, like I said, as an extra 15 minutes worth of work on this job because of the leak that I had to do anyway. So now, let's put our compressor back. 
You got the compressor in place now. See my new joint. I had to cover this with a wet rag so it didn't catch on fire. It was all full of oil from the leak that was up there. Also, it's, it's really important to have a good filter dryer. You want to change that out because if there's any moisture in the oil, you're not going to evacuate it because the oil is going to sink to the bottom. It, just, it ain't going to come out. But the filter dryer is very good at pulling the moisture out. So, evacuate it. And one thing I really love about this refrigerant is it actually does 5% plus capacity compared to R22. So we're actually going to pick up some capacity. All the other drop-in substitutes you lose about 9%. And uh, more like 10%, and you got to adjust the charge or change the metering device or adjust it. I did the MO99 on a couple jobs, and oh, I hated that because I had to cut the charge to prevent floodback. But with this, it's the closest you can get to R22. So I just weigh it in, full amount, and don't have to do nothing, just the oil, which is kind of a pain. But on this job, it wasn't a big deal. So on an eight pound charge, I'm one pound under right now. And so we're 202. I'm gonna add this to my cell phone. So yeah, about 93, measure 90 degrees. So we got three degrees subcooling, which I'd expect because we're a pound under charge. Okay, so now look at our suction. We're about 70 and 80 degrees. So we'll go down on my 407 vapor. So I get about, about 20 degrees, 30 degrees superheat. So we're pound low, I'll finish it off, put in nameplate, which is eight pounds, and we'll be good to go. And to sum up, 407C, a great refrigerant because you're going to gain capacity instead of lose capacity it's cheap it's the same price as 410a uh, you just have to have something to bring the oil back it's preferred to have some synthetic oil in there the polyol ester which is the zero all 32 or actually i'm not going to say this but 22 could bring it back also is it uh but that's ruins the salvage value of the 407 which if any if you know anybody that takes 407 on reclaim you know let me know i kind of doubt anybody takes it and uh it is an ozone safe gas so that's it simple oh you also there's a other option you can pump in oil and that's what i've been seeing guys do if you want to convert just overfill a compressor try to get 20% oil charge with the, the polyol ester oil and, uh, and then you can convert like that and because uh, the the, uh, the uh, polyol ester will bring back the refrigerant if you didn't change the oil and you put 407c your capacity is going to go way down because their oil is going to be hanging out as a sludge in the evaporator and there's videos on YouTube showing what happens when you mix mineral oil with the HFC refrigerant it basically turns into a sludge and uh, and that's very um, bad for heat transfer and then of course you'll be missing oil on a compressor so you need to have something to bring the HFC back and uh, the polyol ester is the best thing to do and it doesn't have to be pure polyol ester 20 anywhere above 20 percent will be great I'm probably at 50 percent to 70 percent on this job Make sure you label it and use a paint pen. These are the ones that you shake up and that way the sun doesn't destroy it. Make sure you mark out R22, put your right refrigerant, right on the unit, convert it to R407C. I mean if somebody dumped in 22 it wouldn't hurt anything, but 22 is way more expensive than 407C. So it's good to know the unit's converted. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.